Munich, Germany, September 1938. Adolf Hitler entered the auditorium and walked straight to the microphone. Martin was fascinated to witness firsthand the captivating effect Hitler had on the cheering audience. Staggering! Hitler stood there patiently, nodding his head with a serious expression on his face. It took a long time before the applauding came to a halt. I have glorious news! Vera translated Hitler's words to Martin, Eric, and Jack. General Ludwig Beck, who stood next to her, nodded. A new wave of spontaneous roars and applause swamped the main hall of the Führerwahl building, where the Munich conference was held. Martin saw British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain, French Prime Minister Edouard Dallelier, and Italian Duce Benito Mussolini among the audience. They stood quietly at the back of the hall, surrounded by their national delegations. I have just received word from our brave Kriegsmarine heroes. Like a philharmonic conductor, Hitler played the crowd, pausing at the right moment to generate maximum anticipation effect. The glorious German war navy smote the American city of Norfolk, destroying the Jewish Bolshevik atomic submarine. With one swipe, we cut off the viper's head. The triumphant German commando eliminated the greatest threat to our pure Aryan race. Martin's heart felt like it stopped. Are you sure you translated it right? He stared at Vera. Vera stared back at him. She seemed confused. The decisive atomic strike has demonstrated the superiority of the Third Reich's resolve, and I should warn our enemies, Hitler said as he fisted his hand and waved it through the air, pointing at the British Prime Minister. Don't think for a moment. This was our only atomic bomb. Our celebrated nation now has the scientific knowledge to build additional fission bombs. The power of the atom is ours.